Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand a program to count the characters in each word in a given sentence. First, let us take some examples. For input Geeks for Geeks, the word Geeks has 5 characters, the word for has 3 characters and the word Geeks has 5 characters. Next, let us see the approach. We first create an equivalent character array of the given string. Then we iterate the character array using a for loop. Inside the for loop, we declare a string with empty implementation. Whenever we found an alphabet, we will perform concatenation of that alphabet with the string variable and increment the value of i. When i reaches to a space, it will come out of the while loop and string variable has the word which is previous space. Now we will print the string variable with the length of string. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string geeks squad and pass it to count function. Now in the count function, we create a character array ch of the given string. Next, we iterate in a for loop from 0 to ch dot length. So first i will be 0. We take a string s initialized to null. Also, ch at 0 will be g. Now, we check condition in the while loop. Since i is less than ch dot length, the first part gets satisfied. Also, as ch i not a space, the second part gets satisfied as well and we enter the while loop. Then, we add ch at i to s. So, s will become g. Then, we increment i. Hence, i will be equal to 1. Again, the condition in the while loop gets satisfied and we add ch at i to s. Now i becomes 2 and ch at 2 is e. The while loop condition gets satisfied and we add ch at i to s. Now i will be 3 and ch at 3 is k. We add k to s. Next i will be 4 and ch at index 4 is s. As i is less than ch dot length and ch at i not space, we add ch at i to s. Then i will be 5 and at index 5 we have a space. Now the second part of the while loop not satisfied as ch is a space. So we break out of the while loop. Now we check if the length of string s is greater than 0. As it is true, we print s along with its length. So, geeks and 5 is printed. We continue with the for loop and now i will be 6. We reinitialize s to null. ch at i is s. The condition in the while statement gets satisfied and we add ch to s. We increment i. So, i will be 7 and ch at 7 is q. We add q to s. Next, i will be 8. Again, the while condition gets satisfied and we add u to s. Similarly, for a. Then i will be 10 and ch at 10 is d. The while condition gets satisfied and we add d to s. Now i will be 11. Now i becomes equal to ch dot length so the first part of the while condition does not get satisfied and we break out of the while loop. Since s dot length greater than 0, we print s along with its length. Now as i is 11, we break out of the for loop and we have the final output. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.